Hello, good morning. So, week one, we have the database concepts and definitions. After the course, the students are expected to understand the basic terminologies and then understand and describe the key ideas beyond the database system and the approach to database management and processing of information. Terminologies. So the first terminology would be the data. So data, these are the raw facts concerning the uh, objects, events that could be recorded and stored on computer media. So usually these are the letters, numbers, alphanumeric characters that we have. So those are data. And then we have the structured data. If we say structured data, these are stored in tabular format. So these are most found in standard databases and data warehouses. Next is unstructured data. So usually these are the data that is used to store a multimedia data, such as the video clip, the photo image, or the sound clip. And then we have the information, which are the processed data. Next is metadata. If we say metadata, this is used to describe the properties or characteristics of the end user data and the context of data. Meaning, it is the descriptions about data, the metadata. And then we have bit. If we say bit in data organization, this is what we call the smallest unit of information in computer system. And then we have the character. Oh, what is character? If we say character, these are, or this is a single unit of text or a character string. Example, A, B, C. Those are character. We are only pertaining to a single unit of text in a string. Next, we have the field. If we say field, these are the values of each attribute, meaning it is an aspect of the user interface designed to enter data. And then we have the record. If you say record, this is the lowest level of logical unit that can be accessed from a file. And then what is file? If you say file, these are the collections of related records. And then later on, it will be called as the database or the collections of files. The traditional uh, file processing system. So these are the disadvantages of having the traditional file processing system. We have the program data dependence. Duplication of data. Limited sharing of data. Lengthy development times. And then we have the excessive program maintenance and security problems. Database approach. So in order to remove all the limitations of the file-based approach, a new approach was required that must be more effective, which is known as the database approach. So it emphasizes the integration on sharing of data throughout the organization. So it requires the fundamental reorientation or shift in the processes and starting with the top management. So those are database approach. So what are the advantages of having this database approach? The program independence. Minimal data redundancy. Improve data inconsistency. 
improve data sharing. User view is a logical description which require the user to perform some task. And then we have the increased productivity of application development. And then we have the enforcement of standards. Improved data quality and decision support. Improved data accessibility and responsiveness. And finally, we have the reduced program maintenance. Enterprise data model. So what is an enterprise data model? So if we say an enterprise data model, this is a type of data model which provides an overview of all the data consumed with the organization. So meaning it offers an integrated data but comprehensive overview of the company data irrespective of the, the data management uh, technologies that are being used. So it is a graphical model that shows the high-level entities for the organization and relationship among entities. So meaning they use the entity relationship diagram or the ERD. It also gives the useful knowledge on how the company operates as well as the essential constraints. Meaning it focuses on the integrations of data and processes by focusing on entities, relationship, and business rules. How about the relational database? A relational database stores and organizes data points that are related to one another. So based on the relational database model, a relational database presents data, sets as the collections of tables, and provides relationship operators to manipulate the data in a tabular form. So, meaning it views all the data in the form of tables, while the implementations are standalone or through the use of information technology or an internet. How about database application? Database application, these are the application program or set of related programs that is used to perform a series of activities on behalf of a database users. Yeah. So it includes all the transactions such as banking, airlines, universities, uh, sales, and then we also have the manufacturing and the human resources. The range of database applications. So we have the personal database, which supports um, only one user and then we also have the work group database if we say work group database this support the collaborative efforts of such team department database which is a functional unit within the organization and the enterprise database which is a company or an enterprise as using the database which supports the organization wide opportunities and decision makings internet internet and extranet databases internet it is a global network that easily links users of a various platforms through an interface known as the web browser so the internet it is a global wired uh, area network that connects a computer systems across the world so it includes several high bandwidth data lines that comprise the internet backbone. If we say extranet, it is an intranet that can be accessed partially by the registered external users. This allows the companies to share information securely over the internet. An extranet, it is a private network that uses internet technology and the uh, public telecommunication systems to securely share part of their business information or operations 
with the suppliers, vendors, partners, customers, and other businesses. So, extranet can be viewed as part of the company's uh, intranet that is extended to users outside the company. So, it has also been described as the state of mind in which the internet is perceived as a way to do business with the other companies as well as sell products to customers. So, an extranet requires uh, security and privacy, meaning this can include the firewall, server management, the issue ones and the use of the digital certificates or similar means of user authentication, including the encryption of messages and the use of the virtual private networks or the VPN. So, if we say intranet, it is a private network to which only approved users may connect. So, meaning there is an internal communication. So, inter, which means between or among. Since there is only one internet. So, the word internet is capitalized. Because uh, many internets exist around the world. And that word internet is in lowercase. So, some intranets are limited to a specific local area network, which is what we call the LAN. So, um, while others can be accessed from remote locations over the internet, the local intranets are generally the most secure since they can only be viewed or accessed from within the network. So, in order to access the intranet over a wide area network, you typically need to enter the login credentials. Meaning, the intranet serves many different purposes, but their primary objective is to facilitate the internal communications. For example, a business may create an internet or intranet to allow employees to securely share the messages and files with, we, with each other. So, meaning, it also provides a simple way for system administrator to broadcast messages and roll out updates. So to all, to all the work uh, stations connected to the intranet. The components of the database environment. So it includes um, computer-aided software engineering tools, repository, database management system, the application programs, the user interface, the graphical interface, we have the form-based interface, natural language interface, interface for parametric users, data and database administrators, system developer, and the end users. To summarize our lecture, so we need to understand the key ideas behind database system and the approach to database management. So we have these terminologies, the data, the structured data, unstructured data, information, and the metadata. And then we also have the traditional file system, how it affects the technology that we are using now. That's the reason why we have the so-called the database approach. This is used to eliminate all the drawbacks of the file-based approach. And then we also have the database, which are the collections of files, and the database management system as a software that handles the storage, retrieval, and updating of data in the computer system. These are the references that we use for week one.